Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today I have the all new 2018 Ford Focus. This particular one is in the SLE trim. So this is kind of like that mid-grade trim. This does have the base engine. You can get upgraded engines. You can get the engine that's in the Focus ST and in the RS. But right now we're gonna focus on this one that actually most people will purchase with this particular car. Starting up front here, we have a two liter inline four that puts out 160 horsepower and then 146 pound feet of torque. It's driven through the front wheels through a six speed automatic transmission. This particular vehicle is rated for 28 miles per gallon between the two. It has 24 in the city and then 34 on the interstate. And so this is actually a pretty good fuel economy um, for this particular vehicle. Coming up to the front here, it does not have keyless entry or anything like that, so it's just uh, regular lock and unlock on a key fob. You can see we got the window controls here, the controls to set the mirrors, the uh, child lock right there. Step in height, it's a little bit lower than compared to an SUV, but step in height isn't bad nonetheless. If we look here, starting at the steering wheel, we can see that you got all your controls here to go through that center screen, which we'll go through in a second. You got your cruise control, you got your voice commands and all that with uh, Bluetooth and everything. But to start up the car, all you gotta do is take this uh, key fob right here, just put that over into the ignition, twist it, and that two liter inline four will start right up. And if you notice up front, you got the tachometer over here you got the speedo over there and then you got that center screen in the middle that you can scroll through and that'll give you every bit of information on the vehicle so speed average fuel economy all of that and then if we come over to this center screen here it's gonna be very similar to the center screen we saw in a lot of the other of other Ford's other products it's gonna have the um, audio and everything the Bluetooth and all that and any applications that you know you subscribe to or want to for this vehicle you got your analog radio controls here you have your temperature controls down here you do have a dual zone climate with the fan speed there and then the different places where you want the fan to go to which is pretty neat this does come with heated seats as well you got a little 12 volt down here the control for the heated steering wheel and then the shifter to put it into gear and you can actually have a shift mode as well where you can shift the gears yourself if you want which is right here on the side of the shifter. And then you do get a little center console, USB 12 volt, all that. You got your parking brake right there. And these seats are finished in this cloth that actually feels really durable. And it doesn't feel like things are gonna leak through it and stain it or anything like that, which is really nice. You get a pretty decent sized glove box in here as well. And then you do get a sunroof. It's not a panoramic sunroof or anything like that, but it's a pretty nice sunroof nonetheless. And then this vehicle does come with parking sensors and a rear view camera. So just put it into reverse and you can see that camera pop on. And it does have little trajectory lines that help you go exactly where you're going. And those parking sensors will beep at you to keep you safe from hitting your brand new vehicle. So stepping into the back here, we can open it up. And I actually do have the uh, driver's seat where I would normally sit in it. We can just move these floor mats out of the way. But stepping in here, it actually has a good amount of legroom, like I'm not cramped or anything like that. And like I said, I have the seat where I would normally drive and so it's got a decent amount of space back here. You do get this little hump in the middle so it would be a little bit difficult for a third passenger but these seats do fold down so when you put things in the trunk, you can fold these seats down to get a little bit more cargo space. This stuff does come with the cloth floor mats as well as these nice rubber floor mats which is pretty nice for them to include. And then over to the trunk here, to open up the trunk, you just press this on the key fob twice and it'll pop right up. And if we look back here, you got some of the, um, you got the sound system back here and everything is from Sony. You can see it's got a pretty decent amount of trunk space back here. And then you do get a full little spare down there. But yeah, it's got a decent amount of trunk space back here and everything, which is really nice. So let's set off here in the all new 2018 uh, Ford Focus. And like I said, this is um, the basically the base model engine that you can get, but you can get other engines and obviously they're gonna cost a little bit more and be a little bit different interior trim wise and everything. 
but first impression wise it rides you know really smooth um, and in interior wise it's it's not like super luxury or anything like that but everything does feel you know pretty nice and durable on the inside which is a good thing in my opinion and then just driving it around power wise obviously with you know 160 horsepower it's not going to be some crazy you know it's not going to be crazy fast or anything like that but it does have a uh, decent speed to it and you know just for regular day-to-day -day use you know commuting and everything then it's got you know pretty good power but you know we'll get it up onto the interstate as well just to see how it performs there i mean just driving it around town um you know not really pushing it and all that it's really nice and it gets you know like those those fuel economy ratings that i went over you know 28 combined it gets pretty decent numbers and everything and so it's a, it's a good little runaround vehicle you know to save money if you want to get better fuel economy compared to a lot of other vehicles but then you know also have decent enough power to be able to uh, move this around and everything ride quality on this is actually really smooth and so it's a it's a nice place to be it doesn't feel you know it doesn't feel like crazy bumpy or anything like that and it doesn't throw you around or anything like that so it just it soaks up all the bumps and so it's a really it's a really nice ride and so then just, you know, like I said, just driving this on a, on a daily basis would be super, it'd be super easy to live with and everything. Okay, so let's get a little bit of an acceleration run here. We're just about to enter onto the interstate just to see, you know, how quickly this car goes. It actually handles pretty well. The steering is really light, but it handles pretty well. Yeah, and as we can see there, it does take a you know a bit of throttle input to get this up to speed and everything like that. Um, so I mean, like I said, power-wise, this isn't crazy or anything like that. But then it's it's more than enough, and it's you know pretty. It's at relatively low RPMs. You know, interstate speeds. It's you know just above 2,000 RPMs. It's you know it's quiet. It's compliant and all that. And so acceleration isn't crazy or anything like that. But it definitely does have more than enough speed for just you know regular day-to-day -day use in my opinion and so I think this would be a great car to get if you were just kind of needed something that was uh, you know a lot less money compared to other vehicles but then also just for good you know day-to-day -day driving and all that now overall impression wise on this particular vehicle I would say if you're looking for a vehicle that gets good fuel economy that is really easy to drive is really comfortable to drive then this would be a really good route to go and I mean, since, you know, Ford does, a, I do believe Ford does quite a bit of volume with these. There's, you know, good discounts on them and everything. And so you can get these, you know, brand new for, you know, a pretty good price and everything. And so overall, you know, just a nice little sedan that gets great fuel economy and everything and is easy to get into and everything. This is a, this is a great vehicle to go with. And there we have it, everyone, the all new 2018 Ford Focus SEL. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. Comment what you thought in the comment section below, and I will see all of you in that next video.